to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. I feel like we have talked about dating apps a lot recently because we talked about Tinder last week and their new $499 a month subscription, which is utterly ridiculous. We talked about men leaving dating apps. And today we're going to talk about some of the ridiculous things that women are doing on dating apps. And the story for today is about a young woman who was recently humbled on a dating app when a guy messaged her to let her know that the photos that she had posted probably were not going to achieve the desired outcome that she was hoping for. And like clockwork, because it is 2023, if somebody says something that offends you, even if it's true, you screenshot it and then you post it online for validation. But what happens when the quest for validation ends up backfiring? Which is exactly what happened in this story. Before we dive into it though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Let's check out this message that this young woman felt the need to share with the world. This is Zoe, and according to her, from her lips, she is on dating apps in search of a long-term relationship. And she recently posted this photo to her Hinge profile, which is what caused this fire storm online, in her DMs and online. So she posted this photo and then she received a message from a man who said the following. He said, hey Zoe, just wanted to let you know the pictures like this put off respectful guys who know how to hold a conversation and attract guys who just want to sleep with you. Have a nice day. Smiley face. Gasp the horror that a man would be blunt and refreshingly honest with a woman online. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? That's insane. How, like that was the nicest message. There is nothing wrong with that. I guess because it's 2023, it's a horrible thing to be blunt and honest. Like, I don't think I would be offended by this. I would actually be impressed that a guy had the balls to send something like this. Now, as you guys know, there's very little that I love more than my dogs, and I would do anything to make sure that they are as healthy as humanly possible, which is why I trust Rough Greens. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America, and that's where his product comes in. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, antioxidants, that your dog needs every single day. And the best part about Rough Greens is that it's a supplement, not a whole food. So you don't have to go out and break the bank trying to buy some fancy new expensive dog food and figure out which one works for your dog. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on the food they already have every single day and you will be leagues ahead from where you were. Dog owners everywhere like me are raving about Rough Greens because it supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more. Brocky and Tater love it. They wolf it down every single morning and I trust that your dog will love it too. In fact, the team at Rough Greens is so confident that their products will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it too. This free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to freeroughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG. Now we don't have screenshots of her profile, but I'm guessing that she had something listed on her page about exactly what she was looking for, which probably prompted this man's message. And my thoughts about this are validated because she even brought this up in the interview that she gave the New York Post. They wrote, Kowald, 31, is currently on dating apps in hopes of meeting somebody to have a serious relationship with. And she was surprised by the message. She said that she didn't think the photo he was commenting on was salacious, and actually, she genuinely didn't even think twice before uploading the photo. If this woman, Zoe, if she actually wants a serious relationship, and she genuinely did not see a problem with that photo when she posted it, this should have been a wake-up call. This should have been a hard but positive message to get. A helpful suggestion from somebody who doesn't know her, but was giving her insight into the impression that she's giving off online. Oh, crap. I can't believe you've done this. Regardless, she was shocked and she took to social media and the New York Post to confirm that the guy was in the wrong and that she was in the right. So she posted the message in an all girls Facebook group. New York Post wrote about this as well. And they said that she asked group members to put a thumbs up reaction to the photo if they agreed with him or a love heart reaction to the message if they disagreed with the man. You might expect by 2023 that there would be a unanimous response calling the man out. You'd be proven wrong. Why would we expect that? Are women not allowed to be in the wrong? Women spend all day shaming men online into their faces, but a man is not allowed to offer some constructive criticism? How dare you? Just seems a bit hypocritical. But anyway, back to her Facebook post, the article reads that the photo received 983 love heart reactions, disagreeing with him, and 337 thumbs up reactions, agreeing with the guy. The comment section turned into such a hot mess that administrators of the group had to start deleting some of the more shaming messages. So it wasn't even overwhelmingly in favor of the man. Just the fact that some girls agreed with him was enough to start a Facebook group war and a whole article from the New York Post about a wider issue. And that is literally what they wrote in their headline. An unsolicited message sent to a woman on a dating app reveals a wider issue. What wider issue? That men are becoming increasingly honest? Like, I think that that is a net positive. He is not shaming her. That was not an angry or shameful or toxic message. He was giving her advice and insight into the mind of men 
which she should be thanking him for since apparently she was not seeking a one night stand and she actually wants a serious relationship. He's a monster. I would love to give her credit for posting it online and trying to get some kind of, you know, unbiased outside opinion, but I guarantee that she was hoping that this would go viral and she would have thousands of other women trying to go after this man. But instead, most people online actually agreed with him. One person on Twitter said, define unsolicited. Also, I feel like every message on a dating app is unsolicited. Like that's just kind of how they are. Somebody else said based. Another person said, I doubt she was looking for a respectful guy. Somebody else said the wider issue is that the man is right. That was under the New York Post article. Somebody else said a wider issue of women having no dignity. And then this guy did not hold back, but it was my favorite comment. He said, typical not to take the advice of a man. You're all very critical of everything a man does, but can't accept criticism when it's put back on you. You see the world around us is crumbling, but you choose to ignore it. People are receiving what they put out into the universe and then don't want to understand why it is this way. There is a reason why this is happening. If it's too deep for you to understand, then you are destined to be alone, blaming everybody else for your shortcomings. I mean, he did not hold back in the slightest. That was an excellent mic drop comment. But are we honestly surprised by this response from men? Because the way you dress and how you post online does have an effect on the way people perceive you. And if you are a woman looking for a respectable guy who desires a long-term relationship, like apparently the girl in the story, then you have to be aware of that. You may not think it's scandalous and your intentions might not be provocative, but that doesn't mean that they aren't being perceived that way. I cannot tell you how many girls I see on social media complaining about being single and saying that there are no good guys left while simultaneously posting photos of themselves scantily dressed with comment sections full of men fawning over them. Clearly, that content is not attracting the kind of men that they are actually interested in, or they would not be single anymore. Just food for thought. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.